This is a very short Saturday morning video about using the origami at my house. First thing I want to note, I'm not going to do it, is you can use the Kalita filter. It actually matches the pattern of the origami. And this is my other favorite brewer because it does essentially the same thing of providing a greater surface area and more aeration for brewing. Um, you know, the only issue with the Kalita and the wave filter is that it's um, easy to kind of damage this when you're putting it in. Um, and then, you know, or uh, in the case yesterday where I made a mistake, I had to remove it and put it back in and then my wave was gone. Whereas with the origami, it's in ceramic. So, so I use the uh, Hario filters and what I like to do is fold it just so it opens nicely. And I always start with a little water in the bottom. And I'm just pre-wetting the filter. My brewing technique is not official. Uh, it's not competitive. It's not anything. It's just what I do but it works for me. So now I am ready to drain. And that's when I turn on my scale because it's already teared with the weight here. And I used my hand grinder this morning, which is a little bit random. But in this case, I see I got exactly 30 grams. That's interesting. So I'm going to make 450 milliliters. I make 150 milliliters per 10 grams. That's how I do it. So if you want, you can make a little divot in the center. And what I do is I put in about 75 grams of water. And I do stir with the V-bottom filters, which I don't think is really necessary, but I'm used to it. Um, with the Kalita, I actually really do a heavy stir. I just think flat bottom requires that. And I forgot to start my timer, so I'll just add 20 seconds. So I like to wait a long time, sometimes like a minute and a half for it just to, um, the water just to soak in. One thing um, I'd like to point out about home roasting and home uh, in particular when coffee's really fresh is you really need to, to degas your ground coffee. Um, uh, in some way, and as well as in brewing, to allow a lot of time to bloom, or as I do, stir vigorously, because you'll see with coffees, if you're roasting it the next day, uh, you're brewing it, I'm sorry, out the next day after roasting it, um, you're going to see a lot of foam, uh, CO2, and other gases emitted during the brewing. So I'm about a minute and a half, and I'm just going to start some brewing. I'm going to put in about 150 milliliters. My technique, as I said, is just mine, and I really believe people should, within reason, just do what works for them in brewing. But some of the steps are important. Um, with a pour-over like this, um, blooming the grinds, wetting them, and then waiting if you don't do that, you're gonna brew in two minutes. Um, and that's just really not enough contact time with water. And um, so my technique uh, that works for me is I uh, try to keep about 150, 200 milliliters, which is the same as grams, uh, water in, in the top to have a decent amount. So right now it's filled to here just have a decent amount of water to have a heat mass so that it's not losing heat 
uh, continuously. And I keep uh, my water already boiled, but I keep it on a on a on a um, a low burner, which is kind of why I like the actual stove top and a, just a, an old style kettle. As you can see, well used. And so we're about uh, three minutes now and close to 400 grams in there. I don't believe that there's any needed pouring technique. Um, you can pour however you want. I just wouldn't pour from very high right in the middle because it actually does create a kind of turbulence in the water. And I've seen that when um, I dr this drains and you'll see a, the pattern of it isn't isn't a flat bed of coffee. It's a it's a huge divot in the middle. So I feel like that's something you might want to avoid. I don't know. So we are at my target. We're actually slightly beyond, which is good. Because let's go even slightly beyond because a, I like coffee slightly diluted. I don't like it over strength. And B, rules are just guidance. They're not made to be followed, especially at 7 a.m. All right, thank you. I'm gonna drink this coffee. <laughs>